Carl Reed, and I'm here with my main guy, Blake Rockermeyer, with the block. Like, share, subscribe. We got college football coming up this weekend, week zero, and we're going to talk about it a little bit. One of the games of the week this week, Blake, is University of Nebraska against Northwestern. Give me your breakout player, a guy you think can break out this week for the Nebraska Cornhuskers. You know you're desperate for college football when Nebraska Northwestern is your go-to game of the week, but I'm ready for it. Uh, the matchup of the weekend is going to be O'Shawn Mathis uh, versus Peter Skaronsky, the, the Northwestern left tackle. O'Shawn uh, Mathis is a very productive, I don't know about very, but he's a productive edge rusher that was one of the top guys in the portal that was a, a highly recruited uh, battle between Texas and Nebraska. He ended up going to Nebraska because they 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 really needed some edge pressure. He can bring that to them. He had 12 and a half sacks and 26 TFLs at TCU in his career. Uh, was a second team All Big 12 selection uh, at TCU, playing under Gary Patterson. There uh, is a nice get for them. Uh, I want to see if he can improve off of what he did last year. I thought. Uh, in my opinion, he was disappointing last season. He only had four sacks, uh, just never seemed to get in a groove. TCU never got in a groove last year at all. It seemed like there was always something going on there. Uh, so can he, can he ratchet it up another level? Nebraska uh, has got some, some depth at that position, and uh, he can make a big statement week one versus one of the top offensive linemen in the country. Expect – the long arm and power rush. I want to see if he can win with that because uh, that's something that, that I think is a weakness uh, for, for uh, Skronowski at, at Northwestern, and I want to see how that goes for them. And that's going to be a great battle to watch. When I think about this game, I've been hearing a lot of rumblings from the backfield at Northwestern. Running back Evan Hall is a guy that they're really excited about. And when you think about running behind a guy that we think is going to be a first-round pick at Northwestern, it's great to have great running back play. Another young kid on the roster is Cam Porter, a kid that they expect to come out and have an instant impact. So I'm really excited about what Northwestern does against Nebraska. I know it may not be a game that's normally at the top of people's list to watch, but I do think – it's a solid game. You get to see Cam Pointer and Evan Hall run the ball out of the Northwestern backfield against the University of Nebraska. O'Shawn Mathis is a guy that I know that you've been high on all year. So I am very excited to see this matchup. Yeah, I'm pumped for it. I can't wait. Are there any uh, other other people you're watching? I know that you you talked to me earlier about a receiver at Illinois that you got your eyes on, Carl. What, tell, tell me the scoop on him. Isaiah Williams, wide receiver at the University of Illinois, he's the best player on their football team, was just named the captain a week ago. He's a guy that I coached against in high school. He was a dynamic quarterback, was recruited by everybody in the nation, decided to go to the University of Illinois because he wanted the opportunity to play quarterback. And in this game a year ago, he did get quite a bit of action at the quarterback spot. Since then, he's developed into a legitimate wide receiver who is going to have a career in the National Football League. And he's the biggest spark on the University of Illinois offense. I expect a huge game from him and a huge season. Isaiah Williams is the real deal. And he's got a lot of great football in front of him. Now, Blake, there's a receiver that you've had your eyes on as well down at Vanderbilt. Let's talk about him a little bit. Yeah, Jaden McCown's a guy that that is a uh, a, a slider built slot receiver for Vanderbilt. That's that's catching a lot of uh, huge reviews uh, in Nashville. He's a he's a ten six guy. Uh, he's got uh, excellent hands. He's a dynamic playmaker in the slot. There, uh, the coaches there trust him. He's their kickoff returner and punt returner, which is a uh, a critical position. Obviously, you, you want to be have someone that you can trust that can actually catch the ball. Uh, I think he's going to have a, a breakout season for Vanderbilt. Uh, they might not have the best team in the country this year, but this is a guy that I think uh, just narrowly missed making the all-freshman team 
uh, that Chris Hummer put out. And I think he's a guy that's going to be a, a, a big time addition for them. That's going to make some plays for Vanderbilt's offense. Moving along to the University of North Carolina, we're going to talk about a couple of ACC guys here. Who on the University of North Carolina are you looking forward to seeing in their week zero matchup? Well, Miles Murphy is a guy that I've talked about before. Uh, he gets rave reviews from his from his defensive line coach. He uh, has the ability to be the most physically dominant player on the field uh, when it all clicks for him. Uh, he can run through you. He can run around you. He can play the run just as well as he can rush the passer. They're going to a four down uh, uh, defensive line this year with Coach Chizik. So I want to see him as a three technique ball out and dominate this season for North Carolina. They've got a deep and talented group of D linemen on paper. I want to see him prove it on the field. He is a dude. Uh, he's got all the intangibles that, that the NFL is looking for. So I expect him to put together a huge season for North Carolina. And I think their defensive line is going to be a strength for them this year. On the, on, on, on the other side, I hear there's a defensive line, uh, defensive lineman edge player from Florida State that you got your eyes on, Carl. Tell me about him. I'm in love with Jerry Verse. I have been since he first entered the transfer portal out of FCS program, University of Albany. He was a very coveted recruit in that initial transfer portal market, and he's doing great things so far in camp at Florida State. And I'm excited to see what he does coming out. I think he's going to have a strong season. I think that he's going to be a guy that's going to be really tough for teams to block, and he's a guy that puts a lot of pressure on the quarterback, but is also a better run defender than what people give him credit for. So I'm excited to see Jared Verse in his opening game for the Florida State Seminoles and the way that they recruited him. They did an excellent job, and I'm looking to see him have a big opening weekend in week zero. Yeah, Florida State hit the jackpot last year in the transfer portal with an edge player that ended up being a first-round draft pick. So he's he's got a chance to, to shine at Florida State. They proved that last year. And uh, they've actually got some talent on that team, uh, NFL talent on that team. So be curious to see if that translates to W's for Florida State this season. Guys, that's going to be all for us today. Like, share, subscribe. Blake Brockmeyer, I'm Carl Reed. This is The Block.